If you want to learn how to target the right audience on Google Ads, then you really have to understand how targeting works with keywords. So, you know, if you're running a campaign and seeing crappy results where you're getting like negative return on ad spend, so you put a dollar in and get 50 cents back <laughs> instead of like this one where you put a dollar in and get $10 back, uh, it's probably the case that one of two things is off. That's your offer slash landing page where you're sending the traffic or your targeting, which means your keywords predominantly. Now there is other audience based targeting and stuff in Google ads, but with search ads in general, uh, it's really going to be a matter of the keywords that you're including in your campaigns. So let's take a look at an example. Well, first of all, let's look at Google ads match types. So if we look at keywords, there's three different types of match types, broad match, phrase match, exact match. You may already know about this, but essentially each of these is going to include other variations inside of it. So like with exact match, if you put the term lawn mowing service, then it could also show up. Your ads could show up for uh, grass cutting service, which is essentially the same thing as lawn mowing service or lawn mowers, you know, lawn mowing companies near me. That probably wouldn't show up in exact match, but that would show up in phrase match. So you can see lawn mowing service near me, hire a company to mow lawn. And then broad match is going to be stuff that's usually way off into the weeds, <laughs> like lawn aeration prices. So if you take a look at a practical example, let's say you have an auto detailing company. If somebody does a search for auto detailing in Phoenix, Arizona, you can see that there's a whole bunch of auto detailing companies. There's map map listing with auto detailing companies and Groupons for auto detailing and a whole bunch of auto detailing related stuff. Whereas if somebody types in auto detailing prices, you get things like Nextdoor and Nerd Wallet, where it's like blog posts talking about how much auto detailing costs, right? So if you're doing advertising, one quick thing that you can do is take the keyword and just put it into Google and see what shows up. If you see a lot of organic results that are like your company, so like in this example, if you're an auto detailing company and you see a bunch of auto detailers like, you know, Groupons and Yelp listings and actual auto detailers in here, you know, PHX auto detailing, there's a whole bunch of auto detailers in the ads, then there's a good chance that these people are making money by showing up here, which is why they're showing up here, especially in the ads. And so it's usually a good, a good keyword to target. In this example, if someone's searching for auto detailing Phoenix, Arizona, there's a high chance that they just want to find a detailer and get it booked. But if they're searching for auto detailing prices, they may not be ready to go. They may not even, when they find out how much it costs, they may think, oh man, that's way too much. I don't want that, right? So the targeting all comes down to the psychology of the keywords people use when they're at different stages of the buying cycle or buying funnel, however you want to say it. <laughs> so essentially, the people start off with an awareness of their problem, like, hey, my car's dirty, I don't know how to clean it. Then they figure out there's a solution, something called auto detailing. They might not know how much auto detailing costs. But then there's people even further down the funnel that understand what auto detailing is, and they're ready to purchase. They're just looking for a company that offers auto detailing when they need it done. And those people are going to use terms more like auto detailing near me, auto detailing city, or buy auto detailing services, or something like that. And then other people, you know, like what is auto detailing, auto detailing prices, there's going to be all sorts of different terms that people search for that are related that aren't necessarily going to lead to somebody making a purchase on Google Ads. And oftentimes, the biggest thing that I see when I'm looking at an account where somebody's running their own ads and they don't really fully understand what's going on is they're using broad or phrase match incorrectly and a bunch of clicks are coming into their account on terms that are not going to lead to sales right for instance lawn aeration prices versus lawn aeration service right if somebody's searching for a service then they already know probably what it costs and they just want to buy it so they're ready to buy. If somebody is searching for lawn aeration prices, they're more in shopping mode and exploring and figuring out what they want to do. So that is, in a nutshell, 
how Google Ads works in terms of targeting the right audience. And then as you start to get the right people seeing your ads, then you can use some more refinement in terms of like actual audience segmenting and age demographics and you know different things of that nature where you can go in and tweak who's actually seeing your ads like people who are over the age of 30 or 40 or whatever it is that stuff doesn't really come into play unless you're getting the right type of traffic the right audience in front of your ads so you really have to get the keywords down right first and then you can fine-tune the rest of your audience targeting from there so Hope that was helpful. If there's anything you do have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's gonna explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.